Hmm. It looks kind of cool. I guess. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jacob. Back at you with another video. And today we are doing a much requested video, actually. I say that, but my six subscribers, I've been told it once, so I'm going to say it's much requested because for me it's much requested. But anyways, we're just not going to go into it because it's fine. I'm fine. We're fine. You're not really fine. Literally, my fourth most viewed video on my channel, which, let's be honest, isn't very many views still, but it's fine, um, is my What's On My iPhone 10 video. Now, I uploaded that two years ago. Two whole years ago. It's been two years since I've done one of these OG videos, and look, the internet these days is pretty jank. Like, there's a lot of just shit on the internet, and look, I'm not saying that this isn't exactly that, but I feel like these low-key videos are a little bit more enjoyable getting to, like, just sit down with someone and, like, find out a bit more about them as a person. Like, so for you guys finding a bit more out, bit, out a bit more about me, the video that I uploaded last week, the, um, I cleaned out my wardrobe video, I had the most insane response on that video, right? I uploaded that thinking, oh my god, this is the most stupid video I have ever filmed. Like, who is going to watch me clean out my wardrobe for eight minutes? Literally, I was getting messages from people saying how much they enjoyed it and how it just felt like they got off a FaceTime call kind of thing. And that's just, it, it made me feel really good about just making videos in general because it was like, yes, that is what I want. Because what I want to do with, like, my videos, it's not... I'm not out here trying to like clickbait people into making money off them. Sure, making money off YouTube would be phenomenal and that's obviously why I want to do it in the long run because I'd love to do this and be able to travel the world and just make content and like go and meet you guys and do all that kind of stuff. But to actually get people messaging me saying that it made them smile. Just watching me clean out my wardrobe, like, pfft, mate, I'll clean out my wardrobe every week if it means that someone will smile. Like, oh, there is so much negativity in the world these days. And so that's that That's that little spiel. So I thought, let's do something else. Let's do a what's on my iPhone video. Sit down in my new space. This is a brand new, like, office. And I moved in here last night and I'm really enjoying just having a full, like, working space. And I think it's looking pretty cool. And this poster for free at JB Hi-Fi yesterday. I haven't even watched the movie, but I just love the color of it. So I thought, yeah, that'll go really well. And this whole little vibe and this changing color light. They're both from Kmart because I can't afford Philips Hue. We're going to unlock my phone and we're going to do a what's on your iPhone. Simple as that. No tricks, no sponsorships, no, oh my God, go and buy an iPhone and I'm going to earn money off you. No, we're just going to sit down and for the next however many minutes, you guys are just going to enjoy. Just take a break from all your shit and just look at the junk that I have on my phone. So... As we jump onto my phone, you can't even see my wallpaper because I've been listening to Pink. But my wallpaper is basically just a picture, a cool picture that I took at FOMO, the FOMO festival this year. All right, so on this very boring page, we have my battery's activity, which I need, I haven't moved. How have I got zero? Okay, I was stacking wood outside for a solid hour and a half. How have I got zero exercise minutes? Maybe because I smashed my watch, it just doesn't record exercise anymore. The weather, it is, you know, that's bound to change. That is Tasmania for you. I've spent seven and a half hours on my phone today. That is <laughs> revolting. Oh my god. Maybe that includes the music playing. The I've had music playing all day. That makes me feel a little bit better that it's been five hours on Spotify because that's been playing. Three dollars that I have in my up bank account. Cool. All right. First page. Uh, we've got all the stock standard stuff, and I'm just gonna run through them all super super quick. Calendar, photos, camera, clock, maps, weather, reminders, notes, stock, settings, news, books, app store, podcast, TV, health, home, wallet, watch. That was pretty impressive. In one go, no stuff up. I, I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I actually opened this folder. Voice memos, compass, measure, calculated music, find my contacts, files, shortcuts, tips, iTunes store, FaceTime. Oh, I nearly stumbled there. I nearly stumbled. Nearly stumbled. This is kind of like my main page of stuff. Like, so this is the page that I'm consistently changing around when I get new apps that I want to try and all that kind of jazz. So messages, which I obviously just don't read. 47 unread messages. That's just, I'm so sorry. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. I need, uh, that's a lot of notifications for me. I need to get onto that. Messenger, Ari Emoji. If you guys haven't seen this app, this is Ariana Grande's emojis. Look at this, so you can send all these like cool emojis to people, you just copy them and it sends them as like a little an emoji sort of thing. It's really cool, I don't use it. 
and go YouTube. I don't know why the heck, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, until this exact moment, I had never noticed that I had Kick on this phone. When I got it, I feel like my sister and I said, let's get Kick and use that to communicate as a piss take, but then we never did it because I've never noticed. Look, it's <laughs> it's not logged in or anything. I've, okay, I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, let's choose an app to bring back across. Um, Angry Birds, you can come and live on my main page. Then we have Activity Netflix, YouTube Studio, which is where I check like all the YouTube analytics and comments and reply to them and stuff. Commonwealth Bank, then UpBank, then ANZ, then PayPal. So they're like my banking apps for all the money that I don't have. Then we got Byte, which is the new Vine. If you guys haven't heard about it, you should definitely download it. I've, I've been uploading stupid shit on there for the last two weeks. Super fun. It's a super cool community because it's only just come out of beta. So everyone on there is like always commenting and liking everything because everyone's like supporting each other. It's really cool. Then Time Page, this is a really cool app. It's just a really nice way to lay out your calendar and you can open up like a random day, like the 10th of April. It's Good Friday and then it'll have like a random fact about the day. Bananas are first imported to Britain where their unusual shape and flavor causes quite a stir. So I have a 21st tonight. It costed like $1.99 a month, but it's just so worth it. It's so nice. Twitter, self-employed, which is where I send like my invoices and stuff for all my work. Then we have TikTok, whatever my wellness which is an app that I use at my gym because I just upgraded to a bougie gym that has an app I know settle settle um, then we have Unum which is how we lay out and like see what the our Instagram posts are gonna look like this also has a really nice user interface photos that like you want to upload like so and then it also has your feed there and you can like see what's gonna go in there so depending on when this video goes out you guys can see what I've decided to post instead of this or that or whether I have posted this or that or whatever you know how it is then we have Visco Visco is a really nice like editing app where you can edit photos and stuff and you can go in and it has like really nice filters and whatnot. So if I go on, if I just say I want to change this one, I already have edited it, you can see. I usually just go for this photo and then it has like a bunch of presets which it likes for the photo. And usually nine times out of 10, I'll find one that I love, which was this one. I also like all of these or you can go through and edit like normal stuff. You know, this is, you can also put grain, which I love putting on photos, but like hundreds of presets. It's really nice. And then this is the fav my most favorite app on my phone. I take a photo here of my camera and then I go back into my camera roll like it's just it's just like a film camera app If I take a photo of me literally right now I'll do it with the light I have no idea what the photo is gonna look like until I actually get into my camera roll but see the field like, they just look really cool and like but it's also annoying because you don't know what it's gonna look like uh, it, look it's just a whole thing and it's really fun so it's called Camon Classic, if you want to go download it, I love it. Next page, Tinder, Beam It, no idea what Beam It is. I have so many apps on my phone that I just didn't know existed. I'm pretty sure that's something to do with money transfer. Telstra 24-7, which is how I pay my phone bill, that's three days overdue currently. The UE Boom app, then we've got all the Google apps, so Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Sheets, Google Earth, Google Docs, Google Home, that I actually use every single one of those. Pinterest, Stocard, which is where you can keep all your like loyalty cards if you guys want like want to hit that up there's all my loyalty cards so you can have them if you want get me some extra points you got amazon ebay asos angry birds 2 boohoo techno gym which is another app for my gym but they're both kind of the same thing but different i don't really get it square fit um this is a really helpful app actually it's really simple it's totally free you can do it to photos and videos and simply just add and that's how you get like a square like get it in like a square font. If you want to post it on Instagram or you need a square thing. I do this for like um, cover photos and stuff for Facebook. So if you have like a banner and you want it to work, like look, I'll just take you and show you mine really quickly. So mine was from Be More Chill and if I go view cover photo, so I made this in that app and then it just kind of sits nicely in the profile rather than um, just being like really overcropped and stuff and like being looking weird on my face. Anyways, that's how I do that. I use this app, it's literally called, where's it gone? Uh, square Fit. And that's the, that's the thing there. Then we have Facetune, don't use it. I literally downloaded it for a TikTok and that was it. Sonos, Dazzle, what is Dazzle? I think this might be an Instagram story editor. Love is in the air, start exploring. Uh, obviously have never used it. Instagram story editor, that's cool. I download a lot of these when I get them like sponsored on Instagram and then don't. I never use them because I just don't. We have Uber. I don't know why Uber's hiding over there. Maybe I should put that there on the main page. Gumtree, Bose Connect, which I use for my Bose QC35 headphones. Best headphones on the market. Life, I think that's like a journaling app that I also downloaded because it was sponsored and never opened. Uh, Countdown, pretty self-explanatory. Countdown. Unsplash. Unsplash is a really cool app. I actually want to make like a full video on this, but I'm just not going to do it. So I'm going to do a little bit of a spill here. This app is literally totally free. Anyone can download it. 
and on it, it is just really good quality photos that you can download and use royalty free. Like there is no copyright on any of these photos. So if you want to use them for your business, for your brand, for your Instagram, so you can search for like carnivals, teddy bears, radios, heart, proposal. So if I want to go proposal for like, so I could go here, download this, put it into like Adobe Spark and put like, you know, wedding photography, blah, blah, blah. If I had never taken photos for a wedding before, like there is no copyright on these whatsoever. So you can do it for anything. I've use these for a lot of different things, Facebook posts and um, stuff like that. So yeah, Unsplash, really good. And then as I was just talking about Adobe Spark, I get this with my Adobe Creative Cloud membership, but I use this to make all of my like motivational posts kind of thing. And when also when I do like work, so like Cyber Monday sales. See, I got, so I got this photo from Unsplash of the dog and I just put a quote over it, be average but smile. I posted that on Facebook, um, bada bing, bada boom. Everyone's smiling. So that's that. And we have Uber Eats. Don't use it because I still don't have Uber Eats in my area. Edgymoo. This is, I am not logged in, but this is a new, brand new social media app. I actually won, get this right. I entered a competition on Twitter and won from Edgymoo. I won an Edgymoo hoodie and I will go and get it, but my it's at the other end of the house, so I can't be bothered. So really cool social media app, um, get around it. No comments, so there's like no hate. It's all just love and yeah, it's really good community. Real estate, Apple Store, Yelp, Flight Center, Webjet. I'm pretty sure I got all three of those red apps, Yelp, Flight Center, and Webjet when I wanted to just randomly go on a holiday, but then I ran out of money, so I just didn't open them ever. My movie, Muscle Booster, never opened that either. Once again, download a lot of gym apps that I never opened and we're not even through it yet. Um, Disney Plus, love it. Pit Collage, you all know what Pit Collage is. Simple's Fuel, no idea what that is. Easy Park is how you pay for parking in Hobart. Radio app, listen to Radio Falls Festival, that was a long time ago. The My Maccas app, I just don't think I've ever actually opened that app. Been eating Maccas a lot lately because I just finished my show, but anyways, I'm not gonna go there. Audible, you all know what Audible is. It's not sponsored, I'm not going into it, it's fine. No, we're not sponsored by Audible. Archery Go, really fun game that I downloaded to keep me busy on the plane. All right, then we have Song Pop Party, which is an app for like an Apple TV game where you like guest music. Retro Cam, no idea. Repost, Zaffle, Crowd DJ, that can the music in my gym. See how just unorganized my phone is. I need to fix this. Depop, Street Bees is an app where you can go on, answer surveys and earn money. As stupid as that sounds, but you can, and they're actually really fun surveys. Zambrero, my favorite food ever. MSW, check the surf. Video call Santa, that's what I used at Christmas time to threaten my four year old brother. Top nine, Stan, We Transfer, Pixar, Telstra TV, Tribe, no idea what Tribe is, never even seen that app before. Then we have SoundCloud, Airbnb, Blockbuster, that's a really fun game for a plane as well. Reports Plus, see who's unfollowed me on Instagram. Then we have Lightroom, Premiere Prush. Premier Prush? Premier Prush. Prush. Yeah, Premier Prush. Premier Rush. Um, never use Premier Rush. I, I just use iMovie because it's just simple and I know how to use it when I need to edit stuff on my phone. Adobe Spark Video Fonts. That's how you get... I've actually got some really cool fonts on this phone now because of that app, so that's really cool. Oh my god, we're nearly done. What the heck? Facebook page. That's how you can show you my Facebook pages. I don't know why that's on the last page of my phone, but whatever. Then we have normal, like, Apple pages. Steppy Pants. Don't recall downloading that. Super FX. Don't recall downloading that. Triple J. Google Chrome Raise is like an investment app that I got when I was like 17 and then I realized that it's still been taking money out of my bank every time I made a purchase because it rounded it up and I opened it the other day and it had $150 in it. This app has been stinging money off me for two years at 150 bucks. So I took it out and spent it straight away. SVS On Demand, Photo Retouch, which I downloaded for that TikTok. We've all done that TikTok. You know what TikTok I'm talking about. Metro Taz is buses in Tasmania. Freeletics and MyFitnessPal are my latest attempt at getting back in shape after my show. And with saying that, stop screen recording. That is what's on my eye. In saying that, that is what's on my iPhone. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As you guys can see, my phone is an absolute mess and my life is a mess at the moment. So maybe that's a start, is cleaning up my phone. A messy phone can lead to a messy mind, a messy desk to a messy mind, a messy space to a messy mind, whatever. I get it. But maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to clean up my phone. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want more low-key, just 
me showing you around my life videos, let me know. I can more than happily make these. These are so fun and chill to make. I'm actually really digging this like setup, so I'm gonna keep filming videos here, I think. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave it a big thumbs up. That's all I have to say. I love you. Thank you for all the support recently, and let's keep cracking on into 2020. What is on my iPhone 11 Pro Max? See you guys. Mwah.